Okay, we learned a new function, the quadratic function, and now we're going to look at how we work with this function. Please pause the video and try these on your own and then check your answers from the video. Number one, sketch the graph y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. Clearly show the coordinates of the intercepts with the axes and the turning point. Okay, so to calculate the intercepts with the axes, you do the same that you would do for any type of function. So for the x-intercepts, you would make the y value equal to 0. So we would have 0 is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. We can divide both terms by negative 2, and that will give us x squared minus 4. And we can factorize, that is the difference of two perfect squares, and it factors into x plus 2, x minus 2, which means that x is equal to negative 2, or x is equal to positive 2. So my x-intercepts will be negative 2 and 0, and 2 and 0. To calculate the y-intercept, we let x equal to 0, so we get y is equal to negative 2 times 0 squared plus 8, and that just gives us 8. So that is the point 0 and 8. Now, the turning point of this graph Remember that the turning point of a parent parabola where it's just an x squared graph sits on the origin. And the moment we add or subtract something from the end of that squared term, we move the graph up and down. So in actual fact here, the turning point will be the same value as our y-intercept. It will also be the point 0 and 8 because we're going to move the graph from the origin up 8 units to 0 and 8. And if we plot that point, it looks like that. If we now plot our x-intercepts at negative 2 and positive 2, and we join the three points with a smooth curve, remember to put arrows on the end of your curve and to give your curve a label. So we'll label it with the equation in this case, y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 8. Question 2. f of x is equal to ax squared plus q. The turning point is at 0, 2, and the graph passes through 3 and 29. Determine the values of A and Q. So we know that the Q value will, give it, will be given by the value of the turning point, which is here at 0 and 2. That means that we moved our graph 2 units up, so f of x will be equal to ax squared plus 2. Now, in order to solve for A, we can use the fact that they've given us an X and a, and a Y value, or in this case an F of X value, and we can substitute that in place of the F of X and the X. So 29 will be equal to A times 3 squared plus 2, subtract 2 from both sides, and then divide both sides by 9. So therefore, your graph will be F of X is equal to 3X squared plus 2.